this is Dorothy from TaiChiBosun.com slash raw food blog and from Fave Diets, FaveHealthyRecipes.com. I'm making some uh, strawberry oat bars today and this is the crust and um, in the food processor here I put in some almonds and oats and salt and vanilla and a cup and a half of dates and you can look underneath here for the recipe. And then you just put it in the food processor until it forms a ball like this. And see how nice and easy it is to mash into your into your plate for making bars. Just a really great texture. Strawberries are in season right now. And they're one of my most, probably a lot of people's most delicious fruits of all. They are exceptional on antioxidants. They're rich in vitamin C and B complex. They have an amazing combination of uh, phytonutrients, especially anti inflammatory properties. So, for people with arthritis, and I mean, almost everybody's inflamed inside, so whatever you have allergies, any kind of diseases are usually some inflammatory problems. So strawberries are great for everybody. And except for if you're allergic to them, I guess. They have cardiovascular benefits and they lower your blood sugar and anti cancer benefits. So that's the crust. And then for the strawberry part, you take a cup and a half of strawberries and you can put it in your personal blender. I'm going to put it in the bullet here and save some of the strawberries for the top of the for the top of the bars and a tablespoon of honey you could also use any uh, any liquid sweetener of choice like coconut nectar or agave it does need a little bit of sweetening. And then a tablespoon of chia seeds. Now these have been <coughs> soaking for 10 minutes and chia seeds are high in omega oils. They're packed with protein and they're hydrating so they'll soak up the water in your body and um, athletes use them because they retain water for many hours and they were originally used by the uh, Aztecs I believe who would run from village to village for like 25 miles and this was their um, sustenance, the chia seeds. So all you do is put these three things in the blender and stir it up and that'll be our topping. And then we'll just put the uh, sliced strawberries on top and chill it and it'll be so good and such a fast, easy summer dessert. Well, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? So we'll pour that on top of the crust. Isn't that pretty? Kids will love this. I mean, adults will love this. At a raw food potluck or any kind. And then save a good half a cup of strawberries for the top. Make it look pretty. This is so good, you guys. <clears throat> I'm going to keep putting the strawberries on. And then we'll chill this. You could also, for options, you could add a little bit of cacao nibs, which would be good. A little bit of chocolate in with your strawberries. Or some coconut. So to your health from Dorothy at favehealthyrecipes.com and from taichibozeman.com slash raw food blog.